Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how to solve a numerical based on vapor compression refrigeration system also known as VCRS cycle. Before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Also, do check out my other videos. All the links are given in the description. If you find this video helpful, please like this video by pressing the like button. Do share it. Share this video. If you have any doubt, suggestion, feedback or if you want me to make a video on some topic, please mention in the comment section below. Do follow me on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. All the links are given in the description at the end. Now starting with the video. Suppose generally a question is asked in which a refrigerant is given. Here in this question, the refrigerant is given to be R134A which is also known as ammonia. Now we have the tables and charts pH charts and the tables for all the refrigerants which is compiled under refrigeration tables so you can purchase refrigeration table refrigeration chart or in many books they are given in the at the end now you can use those charts and those tables without them you cannot solve these problems now it is must before be beginning with the problem that you should draw pH diagram that is pressure and enthalpy diagram and TS diagram that is temperature and entropy diagram. Now if you don't know how to draw pressure and enthalpy diagram and temperature and entropy diagram or you don't know the basic working of VCRS cycle I have made a separate video which I have given the link in the description you can easily go and watch that and then again you can come here and then you understand the numerical. Now the pH diagram corresponds to this and the TS diagram corresponds to this now point 1 2 3 4 1 is the inlet of the compressor 2 is the outlet of the compressor 3 is the outlet of the condenser 4 is the outlet of the expansion valve the refrigeration effect is from 1 to 4 that is H1 minus H4 and the power or the work input that is needed in the compressor is H2 minus H1 now we have to find the values of H at the corresponding points 1, 2, 3 and 4 and uh, note that H3 is equal to H4. Now what you have to do, you take pH chart of ammonia then you make a horizontal line passing from 120 kilopascal and one horizontal line passing, passing from 800 kilopascal. Now wherever that line intersects the topmost point that will be, that would be 3 that is the slant curve where the line cuts the slant curve that will be point 3 you draw perpendicular from that point and wherever it cut the line passing from 120 kilopascal that will be point 4 similarly point 1 can be located just extend the 120 kilopascal line and wherever it cuts the slant this slant curve on the right hand side that will be the point 1 so 1, 3 and 4 points are known how to find point 2 now extend the line of 800 kilopascal to the right and from 1, point 1 you see a constant entropy line that should be passing any constant entropy line that should be passing from point 1 now you have to travel along you have to move along the constant entropy line from 1 up till 2 now we have to locate 2 point so you move from point 1 along the constant entropy line because entropy is same at point 1 and 2 so you move along the constant entropy line from point 1 and wherever this line intersects the line of the 800 kilopascal that will be the point 2 now correspondingly on the x axis the values of h is given so you note the values of h1, h2, h3 and h4 h3 is equal to h4 and h1 and h2 you can note the value will be in kilojoule per kg here in this question mass flow rate is given 0.2 kg per second in many questions mass flow rate is not given so you have to leave the answer in kilojoule per kg itself no need to worry alright now 
from the pH chart I have taken the values corresponding to this pressure H1 is equal to 237 kilojoule per kg and H3 is equal to H4 is equal to 95.5 kilojoule per kg H2 is equal to 276.45 kilojoule per kg alright now we have to find we have to find refrigeration effect the power required and the COP these three are mainly required for solving any question now refrigeration effect is given by H1 minus H4 but since here mass flow rate is given so you multiply by mass flow rate so it will be M into H1 minus H4 you know the value of M mass flow rate in kg per second you know the value of H1 H4 you substitute you calculate you get 28.3 kilojoule per second now kilojoule per second is kilowatt so answer will be 28.3 kilowatt now power required will be mass flow rate into H2 minus H1 you know the corresponding values you have taken from the chart you substitute it you get 7.9 kilojoule per second or 7.9 kilowatt now COP coefficient of performance of the refrigerating system it is given by the ratio of refrigeration effect to the power required in the compressor now refrigeration effect you have already calculated 28.3 you divide by power required 7.9 kilowatt so you, the value of COP comes out to be 3.5822 so basically any type of questions regarding refrigeration effect uh, refrigeration cycles that is employing VCRS cycles or vapor compression refrigeration system cycles they can be solved in similar way just in many questions they change the refrigerant refrigerant can be R12, R22, R134, A, CO2 or any refrigerant and similarly you have charts for all the refrigerant you can take those chart proceed in the similar manner you can find out the points you can take the corresponding value of enthalpy that is at 1, 2, 3, 4 that is H1, H2, H3, H4 you find if mass flow rate is given you multiply otherwise you leave the answer in kilojoule per kg itself it is right and uh, you calculate the power required you calculate the COP and uh, these three mainly they are asked in the questions whether it is gate, IES or uh, any competitive exam DRDO, ISRO or your regular coursework of BTEC, BS and uh, I hope I made myself clear if you have liked this video please press the like button if you have found this video helpful please share it with your friends on Facebook etc and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button below the big red color subscribe button below also please follow me on Facebook Google Plus and Twitter now see you in the next video take care bye bye